In this video, we're going to do the Khan Academy Challenge Number Analyzer. So what they've set up for us here is they have given us three text that show up right here. And then we have this uh, a variable for the number when the number is up here and it's 100. And currently, there's this rectangle that's surrounding the word. Um, it's the words it's positive. But if we change this number and make it negative, then the the rectangle stand, stays around uh, that it's positive even when it's not actually true. So what we want to happen is when we move this number to zero, we want this rectangle to move over zero and when we move the number to negative, we want it to, the rectangle to move over negative. So we're going to need to use some if statements to make that happen. The first step is going to be um, just copying the rectangle three times. So I'm just going to um, hit uh, Control C and paste and paste. So now I have three uh, three rectangles there, but they're all in the same spot. So what I just want to do is the first one, I just want to leave it where it's at because it's going to stay on the positive. I'm actually going to put um, positive in here so I remember. And then the next one is I want this one to go on the negative. So I'm going to change this number and right about there seems good. I'm going to put neg. And then this one is going to be zero. So I'm going to use this and drop it right about there. Okay. So now I have three rectangles covering all of them. But the next step is I only want those numbers to show up or the rectangles to show up if the number actually applies to that. So I'm going to use if statements to do that. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say if, and I'm going to say, then I'm going to use my variable from above. I'm going to say if the number, and then I want it to be up. We're talking about positive here. So I want it to be greater than and use a greater than sign and then zero and then close my parentheses and I'm going to put a squiggly bracket because that's how if statements work. You have your if and then what you want the if to be and then you put, have to put everything in a squiggly bracket and I'll close it out. So now since the number is currently 5, it's not a positive number. It's not greater than 0. So this rectangle right here is not applying up here. If I change this, there it comes back. And I just need to do the same thing on the next two. If the number in this case negative so less than zero in curly brackets and so now it went away because the number is not the number is 36 that's not a negative number so the rectangle is not here and one more if statement and this time I need to do equals to zero and squiggly brackets and close my squiggly brackets and so now I've completed the assignment and let's just change this here first of all we already can see that if it's working if it's positive if we make the number zero it goes down there and then if we make it negative it moves to negative so you can see it jump in between the two um, depending on what you make your number so that's how you finish the challenge 